He's because he's swole. We're recording. All right, so welcome back, boys. It's been a minute. We are finally here. Hey, you made it back. You made it back on time, but you got delayed. I got delayed. The, the emergency landing. Smile for the yeah, fi- smile for the people. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's show the people. Let's show the people. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at, that. Look look at that. those teeth. <laughs> Look at that. You got them Joe Bidens. They look like a roll of urinals. <laughs> hey, come on. No, they look good. They look really good. I feel like I have my uh, real teeth for the first time in years. Really. Yeah. I mean, uh, I didn't even know I have a relative that's a dentist. It's a professor. It's a fucking you know, genius. Will he give me a deal? Of course. Will it take 16 days? Yeah, hey, of course. <laughs> but yeah, it, it took, it took uh, more than two weeks. Yeah. Four teeth out, uh, four uh, root canals. But 18, you got to spend, 18 crowns. <laughs> but you got to spend time with your family, though, so yeah, that was that's worth it. it. Yeah, I've seen my mom. Do you, How long has it been? Two and a half years. This is me off, yeah. I, I feel like irresponsible son. Do you want to move back? Oh, hell no. <laughs> you know that I did. I did. Uh, when all this thing was happening back in 2010, I was so fed up with the uh, U.S. I said, I'm never coming back here. And then when you realize that this is by far the greatest country on earth, how can you not uh, come back and live here? So, so whatever happened with the plane? What did you ever find out? Uh, <clears throat> I didn't sleep like a couple of first. You know when the contest is uh, on Sunday, and then it goes late, and then I had a Monday something I didn't sleep, and then Tuesday night I had to be at the airport. I didn't sleep like two nights in a row. So as soon as I get in the airplane, I, I dozed off. We took off to Los, Los Angeles. I'm I'm just waiting. When I'm gonna, you know, wake up in the middle of the flight and watch some movie, and then I'm hearing like, uh, "Prepare for landing." Uh, you know, I'm, I'm dreaming, right? So I'm, I dream again the same, "Prepare for landing." I said, uh, "We just took off like half an hour ago." They didn't say a word, you know, why or anything. As soon as we landed back to the same airport, uh, they rushed us you know, super quickly from. Uh, uh, plane into the bus and to some empty terminal. Mm-hmm. No explanations whatsoever, right? Zero. And then they put us back in a bus, and we went 20 minutes around the airport and went right back to the same terminal, you know, and, and then they say it was technical difficulties. Whatever that is, but uh, hey, better safe than sorry. Like you said, if I was in the middle of a Flight over the ocean, and at least that <laughs> happened in the first. Because yeah. Frankfurt is about about a hour, about an hour before you start getting close to the ocean, hour and a half. I think so. Yeah. So you're lucky that happened then, and they were able to land and get you home safe. Danny James told me about his flight from Australia. There was something. Like there was fire. And <laughs> yeah, that too. You too. Mm. Oh, I had shit. smoke in the cabin. Yeah, he's messaging me. He said, "Dude, there's smoke on the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> we emergency landing." He's texting me out of Chicago. Hey, look at him. He's calm. I'm excited. I'm sure he now, wasn't calm on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Did he panic? Got, the girl next to me was crying and like, "Oh my god!" You know, this is it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? Me. You're kind of you're kind of a victim of like out of your hands at that point. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's why you don't like uh, flying, right? You, you said I don't care. Not you, but uh, no, I hate no. it. I hate it. But you know, it's it's what we do. I mean, we have yeah. to do it. So I but, actually I have this app that shows. In the last eight years, it's tracked, and I crossed over 3,000 hours in the air just in the last eight years. That's not including the 10 years before that, but 3,000 hours in air. Holy shit. It's a lot. It's like 1.3 million miles in eight years. Hey, can you give me some frequent flying miles? I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a couple million. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so, uh, so, boys, we had... You know, a couple of shows. I don't know if we want to really touch on the Masters a little bit. We were there. Yeah. You weren't there. I hate to judge. It's just like, you know, we'll talk about that. But, you know, yeah. you were watching from a screen. Yeah. We were live in person. I think we agree with it. You didn't agree with it at the beginning because you had certain, you're the bias coach with the with the people competing. So, yeah. Bias coach, bias coach. No, no, uh, seriously. I, I always respect the, the fact that you guys were in England on the, the UK show, UK, before, yeah. UK uh, Arnold, and you saw something completely different that I saw, and then when I saw uh, high resolution footage that you had, I completely changed my mind. Now I've been around forever. I've seen Kamal live, and I know the quality that he brings. And like you said, he has that something special, like Person Jesus. Is just different. Yeah, it's just different. Yeah, but uh, I, I do recall saying the same thing that uh, Kim Williams beat him in in. Um, 
Tampa, I guess, earlier this year, on the just merits of open bodybuilder size rules, I mean, Jay Cutler size rule, width yeah. and everything else, that uh, it was no contest. And then Kamal went into the uh, Texas show also and, and didn't place well. I mean, he wasn't top three. Uh, here is reportedly from you, not maybe both, but you said the best Max Charles you've seen. That uh, it, that was the most condition I've seen. I, I mean, I've seen okay. him at a lot of shows. A lot okay. of times he just doesn't look like he's ready, but yeah. he looked as good as I think I've ever seen him look. Yeah, like. so it's a bigger, much more extreme X-frame and V-taper. Yeah. Much bigger arms, fuller chest, right? It, How uh, much did he weigh? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I never actually asked him for uh, Max. Yeah. I mean, Max would throw some stupid number that uh, you wouldn't believe it anyway. <laughs> so uh, You look great, though. You did. You, you I, did I, never, I never really uh, pay attention to the number. I just uh, I, I know that his hardness, especially from the front, is crazy. Mm -hmm. Chris Acido said back in the day when he coached him, he has something, and he touches you know, much less uh, supplements that the other guys do. So Max had this crazy round shoulders, crazy round uh, side of chest, superb abs, probably uh, one of the best abs in bodybuilding. Improved legs, which we are talking about uh, to your boy. <laughs> yeah. Dumpy Dave. Dave, that uh, he just showed me the, the pictures of his brother at the age of 50, looking incredible. If you covered the, the face of his brother, body is like 30 years old. Anyway, uh, Max Charles the same. If you just look at his body, it, it looks fresh and young, and his legs improved. I mean, uh, uh, at this age, to put some size on the quads, it's not to be expected. Yeah. So, uh, all the pictures that you sent me, right? I right away cropped them <laughs> and se send pose by pose, front of biceps, front of spread. You know, for me, by pictures, Max should won. Yeah. He lost back double biceps pose, and for me, that's it. That's it. What did you think? Yeah, it's just so, you know, the, the transition. So, number one, we thought Phil Klahara was going to walk into this show and be a complete front runner. He had some difficulties getting there. It was, you know, yeah. he had some, uh, he was sick or he had yeah. something that really threw some him issues. off. He had some issues. Yeah. So, so, he was kind of out of the mix a little bit. And obviously, Kamal, you know, Kamal just, dude, he, if, at his age, I don't know if anyone's better. Nobody's better. Listen. And we talk about the, <coughs> the, the 212 guys, and I, I hate to call him a 212 because, you know, this is an open division in this yeah. show, and we'll talk about Hidatata too yeah. after. But, yeah. um, you know, it just seems like the guys that are lighter body weight, I'm going to say that, um, they can endure time a little mm -hmm. better than the, the mass monsters, right? Because, listen, as a bigger guy, when things start to go – it's just more apparent, right? There's more space that you're going to start losing things, right? And I think that's what we kind of, what we see with Kamal is, you know, I, I mean, he's still as fresh as he's ever been. Doesn't have the perfect structure, but the condition was head and shoulders. Like, it yeah. wasn't, you know, in the backside, you start to see a lot of guys, especially as you age, like the back, the lower lats don't tie in as well. Like, there was no sign of that with Kamal. And that's and he actually said on stage yeah. like there were a couple of people that enticed him to do this longer and I was one of them which made me yeah. feel really good about it you know me too I told him at uh, whatever press conference uh, no at uh, at least meeting of some kind <coughs> Kamal uh, in person like you said presentation is off the chart the master. champion master oh my god when you say structurally. He has a wider waist and considerably smaller legs. Very apparent from the back. From the back. He doesn't have a V-taper. Uh, lat spread is not opening up front or back. You know, so if you, if you pay attention, I always pay attention to those kind of things. Uh, flatter chest, right? You know, so. But fibers everywhere. And I can, I can imagine everything that he said, he draw the eyes towards him. But he's still 212 against open, very structurally good, wide shoulders, small waist, uh, d 
deep abs, full chest, full uh, crazy arms on on uh, uh, Max, and then because you're gonna let her go back, and uh, this might bite me what I'm saying, but I'm gonna say it. Conditioning was not that much better that you say, okay, he was off. So if uh, Max was on, slightly lesser condition than him, bigger in everywhere. I don't think it was slightly less. I mean, Kamal was ridiculous, as usual. You know, we talk about the transitions, mm -hmm. Milos, is not, you're not seeing that. Yeah. And when you're in person, you don't miss what the camera shies away from on a live stream. Yeah. And it, it just... It was just so apparent, right? Yeah. I mean, there wasn't really a question. I, I, didn't think that, I, uh, didn't. I, I take your words. Yeah. I mean, you guys, yeah. you guys are not biased. If, if you would, you would have been, say, if you would have mm -hmm. been sitting there, you you would have seen the same thing, and you're just like, okay, they're that, that, that's they're, why they're, I never, never Max said and anything. Phil are fighting for second. That's the way it looked for me. It just seemed like Kamal, like, from every angle, it just seemed like he was just he was just superior. And mm -hmm. even though he has some of those flaws, somehow he finds a way to to hide it. You don't see it like that. I, like, I love Kamal. I think that, uh, listen. You should be teaching uh, all these other guys how to pose. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just that stage presence. Like I said, yeah. not, not even transitions. Uh, let, let me put it this way. I, I didn't like uh, the leg positioning from the back. You know, uh, I didn't like his uh, going into the side chest, uh, uh, let the stomach out. The, he, he made some mistakes, you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, overall, uh, his presentation was uh, <laughs> way above yeah. Max. Max, uh, first he has a perfect teeth, and he never shows them. <laughs> 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 right? I, I, I tell you now that especially when you have a perfect teeth, you know, you, you know, you should be like a joker from beginning to the end. I know, you'd right now too, yeah. aren't There you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> kind of emphasizing. No, <clears throat> fair and square, I'm very happy for Kamal. I told Kamal that I think he should do 212. Dennis James is pushing him into the open division. You know, uh, saying like, oh yeah, maybe he can make a top 10 and all this stuff. So as much as I want to encourage everybody to go for it, uh, I don't think that's realistic, but I think it, he would be a contender in 212. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he's doing the Olympia though, is he? He is. I don't know, is he? Oh, he is. Yeah. yeah. But it was a, uh, which way he's gonna go? Yeah, yeah, he's on the list in the open because okay. he did win. He can anyway, uh, he looked great. Yeah. And obviously, Max looked great. That looks great. You know, Phil is going to the Olympia. He's already qualified. Yeah. Fred Smalls looked great. He did look great. Hey, no, you know what? He was kind he of was, the person that shocked me. He was impressive, yes. honestly. That, yes. that could have been one of the best looks he had. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was shocked. He, I, I thought he should have been compared more with the top three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He looked unbelievable. And so let's talk about Hidatata a little bit. Like leading up yeah. to the show, I wasn't so sure. I'll tell you, I missed. I missed th the show ran together, but I missed the first portion, and I came to see him and David and battle finals. it out. And I listen. David looked good. I thought. Yeah. I heard David was a little off in the morning time. That's what they said. And yeah. I tell you, he he gave him a good run, and I even said to David after like. Because he was a little discouraged about it, obviously. I mean, he thought he he should have been better, um, done better. But I thought, you know, that was a great showdown. He did how to really put it together for what it was. But you know, it, it's tough for like I can see I can see the age a little bit with yeah. Hidatata, You know. Well, let let me put this say I know Hida for so many years. I trained uh, with him. He is a machine. He's the hardest working professional. Uh, diet to the point, at the minute, to the gram. Mm. And uh, if you see him, I mean, he was lean. He showed, 16, yeah. 16 weeks out, he was like, he just needs to drop you know, a few pounds and he would be there. When you compare Hida to Hida of 2007 and 8 and 9, you can't. You can't yeah. Yeah. So we were looking maybe from that kind of filter, like, ooh, uh, you know, legs are not uh, Hida's legs, arms are not Hida, you know. And that was apparent, but let me tell you, when he stepped on that stage, and I've seen, oh, I wasn't there, so again, just the video footage and, and the pictures, he was head and shoulders in the, in the conditioning department over everyone. Yeah. I mean, murdering them by far. Yeah. It was not close, okay? Uh, David, on the pictures from prejudging, didn't look uh, too good. No. So, uh, as I understand, as Steve, I think, said in a TV, Olympia TV, show that uh, 
uh, David was third after prejudging, and he won the finals, but that put him only in the second place. Yeah. It, the way it, when we saw him at the night show, like at the finals, I just kind of thought, like, okay, this is mm. David should win this. Yeah, he 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 looked that yeah. way, and and listen, David's muscle yeah. is exactly like it looked in two thousand eight. We talked about <laughs> that roundness, yeah, yeah, which so is crazy. I mean, I don't know what year he won the Olympia. It was two oh two when he won, I think, but. 15 years ago? Yeah, he looks he looks incredible. Yeah. He hasn't missed a beat. Back and chest. Crazy back arms, double bicep. Yeah. But legs are down. Of, of course, but that's always been the harsh critic of him. But yeah. if you look at the overall, like, I thought. So you, he, you thought that at the finals, you, you he, thought. He, 100%. He, I mean, if, yeah. if you told, you're telling me for the first time, I didn't yeah. know he won the finals. Yeah. 100%. What I saw, he won the show yeah. on. Yeah. So yeah. I yeah. missed. Yeah. And I don't know how in that many hours he could have been that far off, but it just goes to show peaking, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I remember Steve saying that as well. He's like, he didn't look like that. At yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, but listen, uh, all due respect to Hida, he is consummate professional. And he's going to Olympia now. Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's... Uh, well. it's uh, Great uh, for his brand. I mean, he's... A it's his final... I'm Japanese assuming his final legend. show... Japanese legend, uh, you know, that uh, constantly comes ripped to the bone, shredded. Are uh, you going to go put him through the super <laughs> no. workouts? or I forget I, I'm not allowed to train. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> dancer. Yeah, he just still owed me the phone call, but he never, he never, he never made. Anyway, yeah. Why are we uh, laughing at me? Let's get banned. That's fucked yeah. up. No, but I, I'm delighted. Listen, this is, uh, he's uh, you officially guys, Olympia champion and autocross you, champion you did um, a lot of work with him man i yeah. remember him at the gym and yeah. them guys doing walking lunges back and forth yeah. in the back and listen uh from all the guys that i train he is one of them that never complained and one of those things that uh, if three of us are now training with him and uh, i know that you and matt don't want to do another set i wouldn't ask you hey let's do another one or him because i know the answer you ask he that he's going to do another and another and I know when Silvio Samuel and uh, Dennis Wolf used to train with Hide, so we finished all these crazy giant sets and say, "Hey boys, how about another one?" And they all know Hide, yes, okay. <laughs> and then, how about another one? Uh, hell no, Hide, yes. So Hide would never stop. Yeah, you know? that means he's crazy. No, he's <laughs> <Just> he, <kidding>. he's <laughs> up for a challenge at all times. I mean, uh, I'm happy he came out of retirement. This is a huge title, and uh, so we'll get to see him. We'll get to see him on. On the stage in Orlando, yeah, yeah. which is good. Yeah. Okay, so nitty gritty, <laughs> nitty gritty. Uh, what do you think? What we well, got a little controversy in uh, in Spain, uh, you know, but we're going to talk about Italy a little yeah. bit. Let's let's start there, right? Okay, people's going to say it's a controversy. It's still a bodybuilding show. So f first, Nathan could have easily won, and I would have no complaints. Okay, he I, won in Italy, though. He won in Italy. What do okay. we What do we think about Italy? So in Italy, yeah, uh, Nathan brought the conditioning. Keep in mind, he had the two bicep stairs. Jesus Christ, right? He was away from competition for quite some time. He is known not to train for a while, and then, like, Kevin Levroni jumps in, and, and body just transforms like crazy. So did he bring, you know, heat? Yeah, hell, beautiful conditioning. Nothing is missing. Dance, hard, dry complete you know pretty much yeah but still not the structure not the size not not the aesthetics of uh, regan mm -hmm. regan beat him last time out when they were competing in prague so the same body and and, and nathan was spot on in in prague and regan was 246 pounds in prague yeah 247 okay, okay. and uh nathan might be bigger uh 2021 and now he was bigger than yes okay yes. in in you were there mm -hmm. you know in the, in the similar condition yes okay yes. so there are merits that uh, regan grimes can beat uh, um nathan the asha you know not easily but uh, you can beat him convincingly now you said 247 he was 271 271 yeah okay and since the beginning 
when we start talking, since it's probably first the podcast that I have with you guys, and we are all fans and friends of uh, Regan Grimes, you know, and, uh, and Nathan, and, and Nathan, Nathan, Nathan yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a long history with Nathan. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I, I'm just, uh, I know Nathan just uh, briefly. Uh, I love the guy. Have nothing against him. And uh, uh, but Regan, I, I have that special connection, and and I really want to see him succeed. You were saying uh, Regan with extra, you know, twenty five pounds. <laughs> First said fifteen, and then you know, selected to twenty five would be uh, uh, hard to beat. You know, so if you remember, he announced in uh, your podcast that he's passing on Olympia two thousand twenty two, even though he was qualified for one reason. One reason bigger. only to put the size on and yeah, to to become oh uh, not so classic physique because a lot of guys are still throwing that stupid thing like oh I'll go back to classic. He has a classic lines for the open and now for the first time you included is he's huge. He looked big. big on the stage. He's big. So was condition spot on far from. You know, it's still not the condition that uh, it wasn't in Olympia people, condition. How, how yeah. much? How much off? If he's two seventy one, what 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 should have been his weight? Probably I mean, eight, eight to ten pounds was probably too much. But but look, it's not like this. That would be a disrespectful saying. Like okay, there was enough for this kind of lineup, but uh, yeah. Regan needed to show it up looking big because he took the, all this time off. Uh, you were in same uh, just at least make him you know full. You know the the, the muscle is gonna you know stretch and he's gonna be powerful. This kind of shape, this kind of aesthetics, this kind of width structure with the fullness. I mean, he was formidable from the back, especially. You should you should shut up the phone like professionals do. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, now you, you, you screwed up my train of thought. Keep going. <laughs> I, I forgot what I was saying. You were You're talking about Regan's, yeah. like his structure. And his yeah, structure. I, I mean, uh, uh, for me, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, probably the, the best structure in aesthetics in, in bodybuilding. If you fill that up, if the chest is full, arms a little bit bigger, and legs a little bit uh, fuller, <laughs> how can you beat that if, if it's just shredded? Do you feel um, now with Regan, you know, with him now qualification, what do you zone in on, though? Like, how, how do you look at his physique now? Like, he needs to be in better condition, so yeah. you can't bring him in big at the Olympia. He no. needs to focus. He needs to be big, but keep yeah. roundness. How do you do that? Is it you think it's uh, now you tested the waters a little bit? or So, look, he showed up on the stage uh, looking big, muscular, open bodybuilder, Olympia, you know, type of physique, okay? And they would want him drier. They would want him leaner. Uh, so, Regan uh, from the back is quite dense, strided. You can see the uh, hamstring ropes, ama amazing. Uh, glutes can be strided. Of course, if he's lean, then those striations are going to be you know, so much more apparent. Lats, he has uh, from the the traps all the way down to the low lats, he has uh, fibers. You know, so the 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 quality from behind way uh, overpowers the front. From the front, he doesn't have a intercostal serratus. There is like Hadi Chupan, you know, Sean Ray, Robbie Robinson, you know, they're, they're so catchy. And abs need to be deeper and constantly uh, tight. Chest needs to be fuller. And what we realize as soon as we drop just a little bit, you know, chest goes first. You know, so he need, he need the chest to to complete that uh, powerful look of really round shoulders arms are good he doesn't have a, a great peak biceps but the uh, arms are quite big it's just again no separation that you can see tie in delts brachialis biceps uh, you know biceps split and stuff like that but this comes with the re refine refi refinement he's still not mature enough but he was just not lean enough so even when I was uh, watching him pose in the torture gym, you can see everything on the back. But I say, Regan, I can still grab it, right? So when you can grab it, there's still ways to go. So for Olympia right now, he knows exactly what he needs to do. So original plan would be, oh yeah, when you're lean, you can just blow up to the Olympia, but you can't do that. He, he needs to be considerably lean. Kind of funny, we all had this discussion, he and I, you and I, and... 
you said your concern he wasn't going to be lean enough to where you wanted him to be. Yeah. Yeah. We said the same thing. I mean, he's still not peaked. But once again, I, correct me. You're not saying for this show he was need he did what he needed to do. No, we don't want to look at it that way because Nathan is one hell of a bodybuilder. Let's hell yes. let's yeah. praise Nathan a little bit because yeah. realistically, Nathan has a better shot to be in the top ten than Regan does at this point. Do you agree or disagree? You can say what you want. <laughs> uh, I feel Nathan. If if the show, if we're looking at how many weeks is it now? Six seven. weeks? Seven. Six, six, seven. Yeah. I think Nathan has a better shot because I feel his maturity, his density, his experience, his aggressiveness. Yes. Consistency. I, I mean, the list goes on and on. Yeah. And then so people are going to question, well, Jay, why did Regan win? win? And I think it's an opinion. This mm -hmm. is what, you know, the judging... You said Italy wasn't a blowout. No. Okay. So, so uh, he, he was there. So I was at both shows in the front row. Yeah. I'm the only one at both shows. In Italy, I thought it was a convincing win for Nathan. Yeah. Because he peaked, in my opinion, perfectly. Yeah. He had just enough fullest drive. Everything was perfect. Mm -hmm. When I spoke to the judges afterwards, they said this was not a, a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. If Regan was a little bit drier and the tan was better, mm -hmm. we might have had a different outcome. So even that judging panel, even though you saw Nathan with a three, it, it, was, it was back and forth on it because yeah. of Regan's structure and because of Shape. all that he brings to the Aesthetics. table. So, but I thought it was a convincing win, and then the judges yeah. informed me that it wasn't a convincing win. Now fast forward yeah. to the next week yeah. where Regan is, he did come down inside. He did come down. He did three hours of cardio a day going yeah. into it. Yeah. His tan was better. Yeah. And he was fuller. And his but, confidence was better. And his confidence was up. Yeah. Now, but Nathan was not as sharp in Spain as he was in Italy. He was fuller. And he knew that because he told me they were bringing him in fuller and they were going to lose a little sharpness. So I could see that because I was in the front row at both shows. That physique that Nathan had there, I prefer that rounder look. Yeah. But that judging panel preferred Regan's structure, shape, balance, proportions, yeah. and they preferred that than, than what Nathan brought to the table. And even afterwards, Bill Sevilius is a head judge. He had Regan in second, but he told me it was by a hair. The other four judges had Regan in first because they preferred the structure, the balance, proportions, over conditioning. Okay, if it, if it was judged on conditioning. Yeah. If it was judged on conditioning, it hands down neither one of them would have won. Yeah. Okay. No, that neither one of them because yeah. Pete and Roman oh, were in better Pete. shape than both of them. You mean uh, uh, German guy? The um, yeah, um, so that same starts with a B. I'm, I don't want to butcher it. Buddhist, uh, uh, Buddhist, yes. Yeah. He, yeah. he was, he was, yeah. he was by far yeah. Yeah. in the best shape up there. Uh, he was by far, uh, and, uh, Roman and Roman Fritz, Fritz was Roman in better Fritz. shape than Nathan. I mean, and I where's the back shot so we can see? Yeah, okay. Let me, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me yeah. pull him up. Ooh. So yeah. you can see yeah, what we're talking about because I want to show this. This I want to show this condition. And listen, Matt. Realistically, could the show have gone either way? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Even you know what? I'll even say this. Me and Ben Chow were sitting there talking yeah. after prejudging, and he said, "What do you think?" I thought Nathan Obama's was there? slightly ahead of Regan yeah. after prejudging. I said 60-40. That was my opinion. Yeah. But I'm not a judge. But the judges saw it the opposite way. But, but I thought it was that close. Okay. I mean, see, but looking at, like, this shot, I mean, Regan wins here. I'm pretty right. convinced. Yeah, let's opinion, go. Let's you know? go. Let's Let me go. start with. I want to see this rear shot. Like, there's a rear back double bicep that showed how – yeah, like this. All right, so let me let me pull this. Look at now. these look at these guys on both sides of Regan and and Nathan. I mean, look at the condition, right? I mean, but Regan, dude, he looks really good here. I don't I don't know if this So is to the left is Pete and to the right of Nathan is Roman. Mm -hmm. And they were Pete like you can't even see, Pete was lights out condition. Lights okay. out. But but listen, realistically guys, who wins this pose? Regan, Regan of course. Regan it's uh, it's no question. And but explain uh, why though. But, but explain okay, why. so so now uh, this is very very interesting. Looking at these pictures, okay, everybody can see this. Uh, Budishim to the left of Regan, you say it's like above and beyond the condition. Uh, yes, craziest condition, right? You can't see it. 
Of course. You can't see nothing. I mean, this is when... Uh, the, no, the, you can see it. Come on. I mean, uh, what are you looking at? Look at the okay. look at the hamstrings. Look at the middle back. Look at all that. I mean, the back's yeah, not guy. as big. This yes. Guy, yeah. yeah. He's not as big. <laughs> but he was, he was in... Because when he came out and yeah. I saw him posing, I was like, Jesus, he's fucking nailed it. Okay. Uh, but explain why Regan has... Regan has... Okay, look, look at... Even though... You, you agreed that uh, his Dude, block, glutes were a little bit better. Look at, look at that guy's legs. Block Regan's upper body and look at the legs. Come on, dude. You can't see that? He's, in, he's, he's a strided glutes, yes. But, the, the, but, yeah, but, but here, do you see uh, hamstring? There's more happening on the, on the hamstring and Regan I than do, him. No, I don't, I don't agree. <laughs> well, I, yeah. it could have been in between, him. in between flexing, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. blood up for him here. Okay. Dude, come on. What are you looking at? <laughs> okay, here, when you, blow, <laughs> when you blow it up, you can see it. Can look at that yeah. You're a biased <laughs> coach. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't know that he had that Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. He is. No, but I'm telling you, yeah. Pete was in the yeah. best shape of the show. Yeah. If it was just yeah. conditioning, he was by far in the best shape, and so was Roman. Let me yeah. see this I'll, Roman guy in that Zoom yeah. thing, please. Now I I didn't know yeah. we had this feature. Yeah, yeah. we didn't either. either. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean Rome, Roman. Oh, Roman's has a crazy. He's, dude, crazy. he's got he's yeah. pretty hard too. Yeah. Yeah. He was Roman, and, and yeah. they were yeah. those two were. I, but Regan's shape, guys. If Regan yeah. was in yeah. the crate, I mean, like, obviously, I mean, yeah. his back is. Gnarly, so, right? so when you guys yeah. look at this, explain why why does Regan win this shot? Why bigger, thicker. Uh, look at the size Structure, of the legs. Yeah. Yes. Look, look at the the whole thing. Uh, glutes, thicker glutes, thicker hamstring, thicker quads, thicker lats. Yeah, well, he's competing against Nathan, two yeah. guys. So, we, like, you, the two guys on the outside. Yeah. Like, obviously, they're they're st they have to narrow it down, and it's like, yes. who is the closest guy to you? Yeah. They're going to judge against. So it's like it's hard for us to sit next to Tim and say, yeah. well, he's way, way, way better shape than, than Regan, you know. Yeah, that's, because he's that's got, not Pete. It's Tim. Tim yeah, Wilson. Yeah, Tim. Oh, yeah. Why did I say Pete? I yeah, don't, you don't know what you're talking about. Him, yes. All right. Yeah. Go to the next shot. Are you impressed? or? Uh, I mean, look, I, I knew the Budishim was uh, ripped to pieces, like skinless yeah. and all that stuff. It just, uh, I'm just going to pull up random pictures. Uh, again, uh, First impression. Okay. Uh, go go uh, out a little bit. See, this is where and we... Just this glance is where, for one second. This is like, where Nathan yeah. can really... I mean, look at the condition. And, you know, Regan obviously has structure. He's not in the pose, by the way. Yeah, yeah, not he's yet. Not, he's yes. not in the pose. Yeah. But you can see, okay, uh, Nathan has a little bit of bleaks coming out. You know, and uh, quite often you can see that. You know, so it's not uh, a small waist. He has a crazy shoulder, crazy chest. But look at uh, Regan's chest, uh, chest filled up, so shoulders are great. And uh, yeah, he didn't squeeze the quads here in, in, in this shot. But, I uh, think it, yeah, it was, it was right before Regan actually mm. hit the shot, so. You agree, Dave, or? He's like, what the hell? Come here, come here, look at the. David can see. Yeah. You can come stand next and look where I'm looking at. But, but here, here again. Okay. So the guy to the left. Tim Boot. Tim, Tim Boot. Uh, according to Matt, it was by far the best condition. Okay. And you can see there's no fat or anything else. But he doesn't appear, you know, the, if you glance, like, is this like superior conditioning? It's In person clean. it was. In person yeah. it was. I think at some but point when it gets this close between a handful of guys, you know, and I know, I know people don't always love this term, mm -hmm. but I call it silhouette bodybuilding. Silhouette bodybuilding, of course, there's conditioning, dryness, denseness, whatever other terms mm -hmm. you want to use. But when you look at all their silhouettes, if I can say that, Regan wins this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, look at the structure on this. I, I think, mean, I think the biggest spot where he really jumped out to me, I mean, because all these guys are, they're all huge, right? I mean, I think Regan is, you know, he's obviously thicker than, uh, than Roman. Roman's conditioning is insane. But when you see their, their back poses, that width and that just overall structure is Regan, Regan wins that. And look, at the end of the day, there's a lot of shorter guys in bodybuilding. I think the average, you know, 5'8 to 5'10. But when you have somebody that's that broad, that's on a frame that's over six feet tall, 
that comes in good conditioning, that's tough to go. We talk about team. that. So yeah. what do you guys? So what do you want to say yeah. about this? Uh, one? I mean, uh, and this is Na- Nathan's Nathan, best Nathan, shot. Nathan is uh, very good in this shot, especially because his chest was full. Yeah. Is and, this his uh, best pose? Yeah, I think it possibly. Is. Yeah. I think it is. And even in his best pose, Regan here beats him. You know, for me, you know, when you have a better shape from the front, it's visible. You know, aesthetics. It's uh, visible in in every pose. Shape, structure, it's visible, especially that, uh, from the front. So uh, as much as uh, Nathan in an uh, old school podcast was saying he beats uh, Regan in every shot, I said Regan beats you in every shot. You know, so it, it's not slam dunk, but you know, when you look for particulars, you know, it can be either way. Again, Regan's not in this full yeah. pose yet. And then again, I, I'm, I'm going to have to you know, contest uh, Jay. He goes like, uh, uh, Tim Budishin is... Uh, Way better well, condition. No, he's you not can't. He, he, yeah, he <laughs> can't, no, no, he can't see. He's he's not as big, but this is these are these aren't good poses for Regan or Nathan, in my opinion. Or I, I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, we we have to say this uh, um, publicly so Regan can hear it too. Uh, he has a body and body parts and triceps and shoulders and legs from say to make this pose look dramatically better. He could be crazy in this pose. In this pose, yeah. And every time when we were posing. He kind of rushed it from a back pose, side triceps. You know, he would rush it and then into the ab shot. But uh, repetition after repetition and finding the best angle and uh, how to control the ab chest, put the shoulders out and everything. Yeah, <coughs> as good as he looks, uh, he doesn't look uh, as good as he could look in this pose. So that's something that we need to adjust, including front row biceps. But uh, yeah, because he's got crazy cap triceps. Sta- yeah. Like you know what I mean? Regan's got good triceps, there you yeah. go. better you than get, his like biceps. From this point know? here, he still hadn't pulled his midsection in, and he still hadn't flexed his, yeah. his leg. Okay, for another. Go ahead. Yeah. Again, I'm gonna look. Those are two most conditioned guys to the left, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Regan. So, how much worse is his condition when you look at here, in those guys? In in these pictures, yes. But I'm telling you, in person, <laughs> in, person, it was, yeah. in person, but it was different. Shape. This is a good shot for Tim, honestly. It is. Yeah. You know, he's actually got a really. I mean, he doesn't have a V taper here. I mean, Ooh. come on, Tim. Tim, his. Come on, he, what do you really mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Roman next to him has a more V taper. Well, I can't see him because we got yeah. cut off. Yeah. A bit, but yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think Tim looks better in that shot. That's my opinion. I guess I'm not a good judge, you know. It looks better in what? Uh, okay, if yeah. you if you if you shut the lights and you look at the structure and shape, that would be more pronounced V taper than Roman. Not a chance. Well, Roman yeah. has the arms too. I mean, uh, sorry, the, uh, Tim has the arms that yeah. I've got I'm, the big arms. Yeah, I mean, that's what a front double yeah. is, you know. Yeah. I mean, Nathan, Nathan obviously has a higher lat package here, but Regan, I mean, Regan holds his own in this pose. Yes. I mean, and that's uh, I always think the front pose, double. Yeah. If you have a very strong, you come out of the gate like firing, right? Because mm-hmm. it's always the first pose, right? So, it sets the tone. Yes. So how yeah. we go? How are you going to improve Regan's? Front double is my question because you just mentioned that. Okay, I I gave him a wrong advice to open up the arms a little bit more because uh, when I was seeing um, posing, you know, when you do that, like so you're gonna say, so twi- uh, turn the biceps you know, back. I right? I, I, th- I told him to open up, which uh, when he did, it didn't look good. For me, biceps have to be above the shoulder to create the illusion of a peak, especially if you don't have a peak. So it should be a little higher. So you have a shoulder and biceps. Uh, his uh, um, forearm was like basically parallel, which was a mistake. So now he's bringing it in, which mm-hmm. is good. He can pop those lats out beautifully. He didn't do this exactly. And I tell you this, when you watch him pose, he has ability to pop lats out in front of the biceps. But then he would have to go vacuum or stretch the abs on, uh, on that one. He actually, he actually, at one point during prejudging, Possibly he, did it. he pulled a vacuum. I hate yeah. this. I hate this vacuum. I hate vacuum it, too, but uh, okay. Arnold <laughs> made a front. <laughs> I hate vacuum. We were saying this, but some people, especially in front of Obice's vacuum, well, like, on some people look good. Like um, the Griffin guy, it looks yeah. good on, right? I mean, yeah. The Arnold looked great, you know, so. Yeah. Abshed here. Yeah. Again, 
this is not yeah, Regan. Regan here. I mean, this is where Tim. Yeah, you know, obviously Regan has a deep uh, cuts in a uh, quadriceps, so that's good. Here he didn't show it exactly as good. You know, as you was. know what I've noticed too. Regan doesn't like see how Nathan puts his foot down and really puts the stretch. Like Regan kind of puts his toe out and he doesn't put the the quad like doesn't flex the quad as much as he could. Uh, here he is uh, lifting it up so the hip flexors. Uh, making this uh, yeah, sartorius muscle yeah. visible, and uh, I mean, there is a uh, lateralis pops out more this way yeah, when still, you lock still it down. Needs to build his legs, you know. He needs, he needs, he creates illusion. He doesn't ride a horse exactly, but, <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah. So here, look at the abs, and uh, here intercostals are coming coming on, but he didn't do this all the time. That's uh, he cannot freeze this abs. And uh, intercostals and keep them like this for for a prolonged period of time. If he does, that creates illusion now of a uh, better conditioning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just look at it, right? So if you can do it in this moment, you can freeze that moment and show it in, in every pose. That, that's what uh, uh, experienced uh, Kamal, for example, would do it. He makes them visible and keeps them you know turning around as a matter this does not change uh regan would lose the control of the, the intercostals and, and depth of the abs and then immediately show a little bit uh, uh, less conditioning and then if you're not super conditioned then that uh, emphasizes even more but but here we are talking controversy like oh my god this is a given show number one Oh, let's yeah, let, let's let's finish it that one. Oh, there's still two more. There's two more poses. Uh, are you still saying that Tim Budishin has a? You know, <laughs> you know, I'm telling you. I mean, I don't care what these pictures uh, say. Yeah, in person, he was. It's gnarly. a stupid strategy. Right glutes, yeah, he he <laughs> looks great. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he was in shape. Come on, Matt, M move move him out of the picture. <laughs> 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 You're not doing me any favor. Yeah, uh, look, look at the lower lats thickness on uh, Regan. Look at the sweep here from uh, from behind. Great calves, everything. Yeah, this conditioned Olympia condition. He's gonna look very good on Olympia stage in back poses against anyone. Yeah, if he if he anyone, bones yeah. down, anyone. If he bones down and brings that condition, I would plan it. I would plan him on a set of stairs for a while and. He was doing stairs forever. Well, he needs yeah. to do it twice a day. Yeah. What I mean, that right there is is yeah. it's an Olympia high level Olympia back. That's that uh, yeah, both of those shots. See, uh, to me, Regan wins a shot. Yeah, f of course. Yes. I mean, uh, I argued this with Dennis James. He was saying like, "Oh yeah, Nathan beats uh, him in the back pose the same." Regan's just but, too broad. He's too yeah. big, and he's and he's he doesn't have a weakness from the back. I mean, like yeah. you said, you had. And but, uh, you had other judges that thought that yeah. Regan won, and yeah. other so, judges that didn't. So I mean, it was only a one, two point spread, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. or yeah. one point, two points, uh, one point per uh, prejudging, and then the finals. Okay, okay, side chest. Okay, good, okay, good. You have that one too. So yeah, he wins this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why was, Tim hits the shot like that. I don't. I don't. Get the it, thing but. I was saying is the thing that I've noticed with Tim. A lot of times when he was up there, he was not presenting his physique to the judges the way, like a judge is, they're not seeing your legs like this. They're not seeing you. Like it's just, it's not, it's not a good, he needs to work on his posing. Yeah. Yeah. So compare Nathan and, and Regan on the shot. Yeah. Regan, look at shoulders, chest, the thickness, shape. Yeah. Conditioning still goes to uh, Nathan, Nathan, but uh, sure. everything else goes to Regan. I don't know. Regan just looks so much better in this shot, in my opinion, guys. I don't. I, that's just me. Re and look Regan. how much bigger he looks. Well, I mean, I know, it's not. It's just there's a saying. structure like the arm pulled back more, like the strided pec on the one side, and, and Nathan could be not hitting it. So I'm not. You know, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying by this pitcher, and once again, Nathan we're, has we're a better chest. A pit, we're looking at a pitcher. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. but I think this was one of those poses that we talked about Regan needed improvement on. And he did improve. Yeah, you were sure. concerned about his pec fullness in Italy. Yeah. When he went to Spain, he was fuller. And he, that fullness, illusionary, gave him better condition. Do you 
agree or yeah. disagree? Yes. That's exactly what you texted me you know, before prejudging. You know. If you're fuller, you push <laughs> yeah. on the skin more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 The thing is that uh, we discussed that. Uh, Matt was with him every single day and watching him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? And he goes, oh, yeah, he still need to fill up, fill up, fill up. And I gave him a considerable amount of carbs. Over a thousand. Yeah. That, uh, and he still wasn't filling up. <laughs> yeah. But then, then that, that's that thing, you know, is this already too much? You know, so I think, well, the, the Italy, can it, can the Italy situation was different because Regan had that reaction yeah. to the tanning. And he went from being in shape to, I'm telling you, two hours later, the he shaving, looked like he was a month you know, out. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and that, but, but do, yeah. that happening uh, caused you to they, have to they, take. They don't know about it. You know, they, they tell that story. Well, no, Regan put, put, it, put it on, a, on, on his, uh, on his yeah. log. So essentially what happened is yeah. Regan shaved parts of his body an hour before he got the tan on. Parts of his midsection, parts of his legs that were just, it, he wanted to make sure it was a little bit smoother. And he didn't realize by doing that, you remove a little bit of layer of skin. I told him this. Irritation. Uh, yes. I told him this weeks before, so then he got, days before. So I, then I, he I, gets yeah. tanned and something happened and it just, his body just, yeah. and it looked like he held five pounds of water and within an hour. Yeah. So a, then, a, so then we have, you know, have the video, Regan posted it on his vlog. What had to get done to get that water off him, yeah. which it did come off, but yeah. at that point, it flattened him out. Yeah. And then when you're trying to fill him up, then they got their first tan four hours before the show. They couldn't do it the night before. That was the time. There was no fans there. Mm. It was hot. It was humid. And then they got the other tan an hour before they went on. So almost everyone up there was a mess. They had people trying to fix their tans on stage, off stage, and it, was just, it, wa it, wasn't, a good, uh, it wasn't a good scenario. Yeah. Uh, I started, then I stopped about rigged show, right? About yes. favoritism and, and of course. You know, so, IBB Pro League is known for no uh, compromises, no excuses, no nothing. They would give Egyptian guy, Iranian guy, the, the can't speak the, English, the highest title in bodybuilding, right? That should tell you. Okay, this, this is how they, they judge. Yes. Going into the, uh, I always mention that example because uh, Washington Post <laughs> contacted me and he wanted, they wanted to dig about something uh, about uh, judging and fixes. Like, excuse me, what are you talking about? Oh, like your guy, uh, Behrouz, should have won a year ago and uh, they didn't give it to him. I say, you mean Behrouz, the same guy that won this year against heavily favored, very popular American bodybuilder that could go on Olympia weeks after the show, Brett Wilkin, and uh, in great condition, great shape, yep. everything, Brett Wilkin, was, he stands for, and uh, Iranian uh, Behrouz beat Tabani beat him. What does it tell you? There is no fixing scores and there is no nothing. They don't care. They yeah. want the best guy to win. They don't care. Uh, you were saying about, you know, possibly they, they want Regan at the show. At the expense, okay, they're going to gift him the victory. I see here, yeah, there is argument that... Uh, Nathan could won on a, a basis of density and hardness and conditioning, dryness. Yeah, has uh, pretty much all the mandatory poses good. But Regan has that something special. He was considerably bigger, bigger, and you noticed. Yes. Uh, I've seen from the footage when Roman Fritz was standing right next to uh, Nathan in, in a lineup. I said, hold on a second. Uh, Roman Fritz looked bigger than him, you know, for me. You know, I, I don't Roman's know. Roman's a big dude, though. He's big. Yes. So either way. Regan has a perfect aesthetics and came with the, you know, so much more size. Conditioning, even if it's not spot on, it was, you know, very good. You know, he, can, he can contest anybody. So pose by pose, I saw him winning even in Italy. I would be biased judge, biased coach. You know, in a pre-judging, his tan was horrible, blotchy, white, black, you know, there's too much oil and that, <coughs> you know, too much oil makes you appear even more watery. At the finals, when he fixed the tan, so he came out so much better. Finals were not like eight hours later or five hours later. It was 30 minutes later. The only thing that he did is uh, uh, fix the tan. Yeah. And he looked that much better. Yeah. I actually wanted that uh, they do the c more comparisons. Yeah. Right? Because uh, at the finals, when they pulled them out, they only did one comparison. And yeah. if you go to Italy, you know, back there, the, the Regan could have beat him there too. 
And he said, ah, you're yeah. out of your mind. So I, I posted on my Instagram and said, all these uh, haters, you know, ask your questions and all this. Stuff. Do you honestly think? Yeah, I honestly think that uh, uh, he was a bad bodybuilder and he beat him that day. Conditioning doesn't win. It's not conditioning. Just one only. aspect. It's one aspect uh, for many filters. Okay, so if he's bigger, more aesthetic, more shapely, you know, dominant, uh, more balanced. I mean, uh, Nathan's legs in, in many uh, positions don't look uh, so powerful, right? Uh, vegan has that wow factor. You know, you know I w I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this just because I, f I just have to. I want to take everyone down memory lane. Mm -hmm. 2001, Nathan won the Arnold UK. No, 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 no 2021. 21. I'm sorry, yeah, 2021 yeah. against uh, Samson. Samson by okay. one point. By one point. It was a very close show, okay? The next week was the Mr. Olympia where Regan got dead last. No, no, oh, there was not the next week after that. There was, uh, hold on no, a second. No, it was the week after the Olympia. Hold on, hold on. You say about Nathan beating uh, Samson at, uh, at the Arnold UK. UK. There was not a week before the Olympia. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was the first week of October, wasn't it? <laughs> that was am I, am I, or am I no, wrong? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You're wrong. Because after the uh, that show, there was Italy show, and that was Egypt. No, no, no. no and no, then no. there was Prague, and then there was Romania. Guarantee. No, 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 because they tried to get Regan to do that show because he was a Canadian and Canadians could travel during COVID. $5,000 blessing uh, Regan b bet. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, Let's go. we'll bet because I looked it up this morning okay, to good, make good. sure. Good. So you're, you're saying that <laughs> <laughs> the 5000 bet here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have uh, five yeah, grand? Said, no, I'm broke. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> How much you spent on your okay. teeth? How much you got left? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead. you said that uh, Arnold... UK, Arnold UK, that uh, Nathan beat uh, Samson was weak before yes. the Olympia. One or, one or two. How, weeks how about five hundred? Uh, two. I give you two. You want three? I give you three weeks. <laughs> okay. Hundred hundred grand. <laughs> I don't, dude. I'm, what is it? Hundred grand. Well, look it up. What is it? <laughs> look it up. No, I, I looked it up. It said October fifth. That's why I said <laughs> okay. that. You when know. was it? No, 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 no. When was it? Look, because uh, I, I, I well, wasn't the Olympia in November though. Yeah. No, not in twenty twenty one. I coached. I coached the. Uh, um, Okay, what's uh, the point of this? No, 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 no. I'm saying, let me go back. To, let me go. Let me get back to this. So, yeah. so, so Nathan beat Samson by one point, and people that were in the crowd thought Samson should have won. Fast forward to the Olympia, where Regan gets last. Moshe Ban got tenth, top yeah. ten. Yeah. Okay, the week after, two weeks after the Olympia, we went to Reno, where everyone keeps saying shit's rigged for Regan, and he lost to Sean Clarita, someone who's not doing the Open Olympia. He lost to Sean. The next week was Egypt, where Mo Shaban, who was 10th, Samson was in the show, and Regan won. Yeah. In an, a show in Egypt with one of the top Egyptian bodybuilders that just got top 10 at the Olympia. The week after that, Samson won, Regan got third, and Nathan got fourth. Yeah. So if they're rigging shows for Regan... Why is he getting second at all these shows? And again, if him and Samson swap spots in one week, was, ever, was there a big controversy about it? But if Nathan and Regan swap spots, the whole world thinks the show is rigged for him. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's bullshit. Ridiculous. Listen, of course, uh, people... When was like, it? Did you look it up? Yeah. <laughs> uh, look at the Arnold uh, Classic uh, 21 and Olympia 21. Yeah. No, but because... Uh, one week apart in huh? Huh? Were they? Ooh, huh? five grand. Hey, say again. <laughs> they were one week apart. Uh, what, Mr. Olympia? The 2021 Arnold UK in the Olympia. The reason I know this is they were pressuring me to have Regan do the Arnold UK because he's Canadian and Canadians could fly to Europe. Yeah, you, have couldn't. A, you have something messed up there. Well, who won that one? That Nathan. Nathan, Nathan beat. Yeah, Nathan beat. Uh, Samson got second. Samson. Boy, you're you're there, you're, there's, you're there's, fucking there's, broke. There, there's, there's no way. There's no I want way. five yeah. grand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we're partying yeah. tonight. The Olympia was one week later. The Olympia was October eighth and ninth. You're completely broke. No, no, no. It, it can't be. <laughs> no, no, it was it was it was because of all the the bullshit with COVID. They had to move stuff around. Normally What's going to happen now? How are you going to come? But he did. He didn't accept it. I was going to bet the hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. 
He's, but he's, listen, but the, like hey, I said, your, your old training partner. He's just saying this. Uh, <laughs> but listen, the, re- the reason, like I said, the reason I knew this, they were trying to get Regan to do it because he's a, a Canadian citizen. Canadians could fly to Europe. We couldn't because Americans weren't allowed and Canadians are allowed. So like, Hold have on. Regan do it. And I said, dude, he might not be able to come back and do the Olympia. So we pulled him so, out. So Egypt yeah. show was two, three weeks after the Olympia. He was trying to qualify yeah. for the next year. Remember? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. remember after the Olympia, Regan flew back to Vegas for two weeks. Yeah, we yeah, tortured yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Then we went to Reno yeah. and he got second behind yeah. Sean Clarita. The next yeah. week, remember, we flew to Dubai and we got trapped in fucking Germany and they took yeah. our plane well, tickets. Hold a second. What I'm thinking, I mean, uh, um, it was uh, a pandemic. I want my five still. grand. It was pandemic still. <laughs> you had a chance. <laughs> you had a chance. I, oh. was so, I was so cocky, you know, like you pulled out. Uh, yeah, now, now I, I kind of remember that. Yeah. Uh, that but the, uh, the, the whole point I'm making with this is Samson yeah. was a close second mm-hmm. with bet- between him and Nathan. Mm-hmm. And then Samson got third. Shortly after, three weeks later, in Egypt, and the next week in Prague, not yeah. only did he flip spots with Regan first and third, but yeah. Nathan got fourth. Yeah, and then so he went to it's Romania not, too. Think about when you guys used to do the shows overseas. How yeah. often would a guy win every single one of them? Wouldn't Kevin, Kevin win some, or, or no, sometimes no, no. Ronnie would win? Or yeah, Kevin Kevin did win most of them when I went. Did to Mr. It. No, Mr. Olympia ever lost though? No, Mr. Olympia never lost. Yeah, yeah. that's that's uh, Lee Haney did it one time. And uh, Dorian did a uh, did few times, yeah. you know, never lost. He was close to losing to Kevin in uh, 96 uh, uh, German. Do you right. think you would have beat me in Romania? In Romania? Who? Uh, you. Me? No, of course not. Of that course year? not. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. What All do you my five you, grand. What do you think so. you would have placed <laughs> at the 06? Huh? I, I would place the third in Romania. If, if you would have beat Marcus Rule? No, no, Marcus wasn't in that show. Oh, he wasn't? Uh, oh. You know, there was you, Ronnie, and then uh, a Russian guy uh, was Better off. third, and then... No, oh, no, no, it was, was the uh, other guy. It was the other Russian dude. Um, yeah. Se- yeah, Sergei. Se- Sergei, Sergei yeah. Yeah. He was pretty good, actually. He was good, guy, yeah. yeah. I-, I think I could have. I was really yeah. bone dry. You've seen that picture, you know? Yeah. I was, like, ripped and dry, you know? So since we were talking about this, when people say when they don't get the outcome, I know, but they want this rig shit. They just want to talk. It's just, it's just Uh, talk. And I I, listen. It's it's opinions. So it just, I I feel bad for Regan though because yeah, he was affected. He was he was old. You know, and and it it makes you kind of second guess your game plan. But you know, he's in good hands here. Like we'll give him that. But I also I want to, I want to give Nathan a shout out because Nathan. Nathan looked really good, and you know Nathan did what he said he was going to do because at yes. FIBO you put up that video. Yep. Um, listen, I'm a fan of Nathan. He, he like I said, I could have gone either way. I'm I'm sitting at home and watching whatever you know what you're telling me. I didn't. He so he's like watch the live stream. So why bother? I can't tell what it is anyway. I yeah, mean, I, I had to because. Uh, but but I, I, like we had a I we, we FaceTime and he goes. I hope Regan wins. <clears throat> I see it, and I, I said, "These are this is the pluses and the minuses." And he understood what I was saying. And mm-hmm. once again, I, we go back to Samson winning the Arnold. Was he the most conditioned guy in the contest? Mm-hmm. I, he just had the best overall balance package. Yes. Everything, right? We can argue every time someone wins. Very rarely is it argumented like, "Oh, he could have." You know, everyone always has an opinion, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Hottie winning the Olympia last year, people still, well, his back wasn't what it used to be. Dude, who cares? It was the best overall package. Yes. It was, I, in my opinion, he looked better like that than he did the other three years. Okay, so, and th- this brings the, the uh, good argument. Other three years, he was considerably more conditioned. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he was losing. But bone to less, down. Yeah, but losing to a less conditioned uh, Brandon Curry. Okay? Yeah. Beautiful physique, aesthetics, shape, all that stuff. Shape matters. And, yeah, I mean, I know. was, and, was Brand, and, Brandon and, in a Cardi's condition? And, no. and, and let's, and, you know, not to get off topic, but, dude, no one's giving Brandon any credit right now. Oh, yeah, but, uh, we're going to talk about Olympia in a second. Yeah, <laughs> Brandon looks phenomenal. <laughs> but, but no, just uh, about this conditioning, conditioning. Andreas Munzer, most stripped guy in the history yeah, of, of sport, has never won. Yeah, we well, didn't have the aesthetics. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, so the, you know, uh, it's a Tim Budishin, yeah, it was uh, by far most conditioned. Yeah, still, but he doesn't have the st- aesthetics that Nathan or Regan. It's has. hashtag bodybuilding, right? We, we are looking for all that stuff. So I was uh, just yeah. trying to point out, 
you were trying to give Regan a little extra credit that his conditioning was good, you know, or the be- way better. His conditioning, like you said, yeah. his it conditioning was, was decent. It wasn't the best in the show. The two outside guys yeah, had yeah. the best condition, but the best overall package has got the top two. Yeah, yeah. I, let's put it to bed. You know. Yeah, that, that's how it is. And that's and 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 Nathan is one of the best bodybuilders in the world. You know, and he went through a lot. He tore his arm. He tore his bicep picking his son up. It wasn't a gym exercise. And then the other time he was throwing football. With Is his he going to be in the Olympia? He, he told me he has a visa. He has a okay. visa to come. Yeah. I hope he is. He deserves to be there. You know, for years and years and years, he's been winning shows all over the world, and, and he wasn't able to get here, but he and, said he'll be there. Who's, and, our, who's our front runner, Milos, for the Olympia? For the Olympia. Well, um, Hadi's looking impressive, isn't he? Hadi is super impressive. He's super hardworking. You like him bigger. He is definitely bigger. Uh, I think he's going to be even more conditioned this year than last year. It's still, uh, you, you said it, uh, boxy, right? Uh, he doesn't have a shape of Derek and doesn't have a shape of uh, um, Samson. Uh, but he comes... Uh, well, Samson hasn't stood next to him yet, so it's really yeah, hard to yeah, make yeah. the comparison, right? Yeah. So uh, Hadi is, uh, I mean, has own favorite. He, he won a show last year and not uh, super conditioned. Derek... One on uh, some judges' score sheets, so you know he is so close. Derek improved. Derek is going to be a uh, hell, you know. Yeah. It's still, I mean, some people looking at it, do they want a uh, five foot four, five foot five, or six foot uh, Mr. Olympia? I don't think he's that short. I think he's five, five seven. seven. Yeah, <laughs> five, five, seven, seven. Yeah. I like that five four. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just like like the, the thing that I'm noticing is everyone keeps talking about all these guys are going to win, and they never they're not talking about uh, Hottie Brandon uh, or Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, who both of them have been there. Yeah, Brandon has that something special. I mean. I was a fan of Brandon even when he wasn't uh, winning. And then, of course, when he won, like, gee, it just he never uh, gets in crazy condition. And uh, I think we know that uh, in order for him to get in crazy condition, he would probably lose the legs. And he has no commodity of losing legs because then balance would be off. Yeah. And that's something that would cost him. Uh, pictures now, they're uh, seven and a half weeks out. Super impressive, beautiful shape. He looks I, d- I do think that uh, when he turned around, uh, I just, I think, watched today. Yeah. Uh, I glanced at it. I didn't see. Back from the front was impressive. Back from the rear view yeah. was maybe not. He's not, he's not uh, in my opinion, going to uh, topple Derek. Derek's so wow from behind, and yeah. he's so improved. Yeah. You know, he's on a run right now. He's going to be very, very, very hard to beat this year. Yeah, listen, Derek from the back, both poses, could be contested. You he, know, the, the he, top he, three of all, all time. He's done everything right to put himself in the driver's seat to win this competition. Yeah. Yeah. No, the question is. And, me, and, you know, here we were saying he should have done the Arnold, right? So he should have. So here's a question, though. You did but, both. But, but he put himself, I'm sitting here saying now he did everything he could to put be in the driver's seat. I mean. So I think here, Samson did too. Here's the question. With all the improvements he's made, how does he look next to someone like Samson who has better shape, who has all the proportion, structure, wide, has everything? Can he defeat a Samson now that has came up to where Samson could be 70 yeah. pounds bigger than he him? He can. Because, with better shape. Because no one's going to beat him in the front double. The waist, that whole, yeah, just the look, the back shots, Shoot, He's come on, you, how are you going to compete against that? Yeah, yeah back so that's shots. Th- are that's three poses right there, and just you know that back double. It's just so far. Everyone else is, in my opinion, it's just it's really hard to. That yeah. gives him like an extra step ahead. Do you understand? Of From I get the, it. Uh, like, if you can say pose for pose, yeah. I think he gains like two or three poses <laughs> just because of the back <laughs> pose and the back double. Like, yeah, he's like it, Phil. Yeah, dude, it's just. It's just gnarly, right? I it's mean, super dangerous. I, I think um, he can win the contest, no question. But uh, again, you said 70 pounds difference, better shape. Now you're talking about those back poses. How about uh, uh, side chest, side triceps, ab shot, uh, most muscular, right? Uh, you know, and this is how you're finishing the contest. Yeah, you start with the front double, but you're finishing off with the, you know, uh, side triceps, uh, uh, abs and thighs, and then most muscular. And those are three poses that I think um, Samson's going to beat him for sure. 
You know? How many poses are there now? Eight. Is it seven? Eight. Okay, okay. Eight, eight yeah. with the most muscular, right? Yeah. Eight. Well, well, it's, it's going to yeah. be a unique first call out. If, if, it's, if it's front double, rear double, rear lat spread, I'm going to give Derek two poses that don't exist because the back double is just going to make two more poses forward. You understand? So it's <laughs> so that's the way I uh, see it. But you're 100% yeah, right. You're, yeah. You know, front lat spread. But yeah. but let me ask you this, though. So even though Derek has a crazy front double, he doesn't have crazy arms, arms yeah. and neither does Samson. But Samson's yeah. waist but, isn't but, much smaller. But he doesn't need it because of the balance, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I, I said that uh, two years ago and a year ago, frontal biceps is uh, it's crazy. That, that but once shot. again, we're giving him so much credit, yeah. and Hottie's yeah. Mr. Olympia. Yeah. It's kind of so disrespectful, Hottie right? is a, a weak out condition right now. Yeah. You've yeah. seen it. And is he, is he here it's now? It's ridiculous. I saw Honey post a picture yet. in I Dubai. They're coming. They're coming here. And uh, you've seen the videos of him training. It's a maniac. So the question is, let's say he puts a little weight on, but he has that old condition that he had from a couple of years ago. Can anyone beat that? I don't know, because you have to look at what, the, what it did to his aesthetics, yeah. adding that weight. Like I said, bigger is not better. How many yeah. times have I said this? Yeah. And I don't yeah. know, on that frame... Can he put on more size? Yeah, that's a good question. Because you already said it kind of boxy, you know, which means not really shaped. But that's my enough. opinion, yeah. remember. That's but, but my okay. opinion. So, can you, can so you understand this, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, when you dissect a hottie, there's nothing missing. When, when Everything you, is there. When you have that much developed midsection, yeah. Yeah. that creates the boxy. Do you understand? Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of ab development there. Yeah. This whole thing that he does is, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. who beats that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then the other, like, we're talking about all these people. What about Nick? <laughs> I mean, look, Nick's front double's yeah. crazy. Yeah, uh, his front double, upper body-wise, not the whole thing. I, I yeah. think that... Uh, the you know every pose has to be judged from yeah. you know head to toe. Uh, yeah, craziest arms you've ever seen. You know, um, twenty four inches or something. You know, crazy side chest is very good for Nick even when he had no chest. In sense of, I don't mean no chest, but he didn't have an overpowering full chest, yeah. and he still looked great in side chest. Yeah. So that's a good pose. You were saying back double biceps was uh, lights out. You know he's he right is there. very good. He's very good. He's right there with Derek. Uh, Derek beats him on you know just yeah. Extreme but I mean he's competitive. And, and yeah, he's competitive. You know, so uh, I, I don't think front and back lat spreads are Nick poses. Uh, side triceps so so uh, most muscular good, but not you know just overwhelming rate yeah. because you still have to see the legs. And uh, this is where I think that Samson, who is the only guy that I, I think is getting shapelier, getting bigger. I mean, so far, watching uh, um, Samson evolve in this new body, it didn't affect his shape. You know, it actually made him better. He, he widened his shoulders. Now he's widening his back. How much do you think he'll weigh on stage? 300, yeah, easily. Oh, very close to. And he doesn't need to be. It's a I mean, scary number. It's a scary number, but uh, uh, some people say, oh, what do you expect the weight of this guy or that guy? I never really bother stepping yeah, on the scale. Who cares? What do you think Derek's going to weigh? You know what I mean? It's, I mean, 235? 230, maybe 230? 230, 230, yeah. 230, high 220s? I don't know. Derek creates illusion. I was yeah. there in the first row in your seat. Uh, <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, yeah, he creates that illusion and he opens up. Yeah. You know, if you, okay, if you look at Derek from uh, side in the front of the expose, he, <laughs> he looks weird the way he stands, right? But uh, from the front, he looks uh, phenomenal. Yeah. He's going to be a, he's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Uh, I think, I honestly think there's four or five guys that could win. Oh, so, Hadi, uh, Derek, and uh, Nick were top three. Okay, so going into the show, to say that they are maybe favorites, yeah, with Samson obviously being Nick already, he throws his, uh, himself He'll in, be in the, the right top five. Day. Okay, yep. Brandon uh, returning last year, you know, he slipped down. He was uh, twice second. He was twice runner up, uh, two two <laughs> years in a row, yeah. and then he slipped to fourth. Rami slipped to fifth. So uh, not even um, he was not at his best if. Uh, Brandon comes at his best. He's immediately contender. 
What about Andrew? Andrew Jack, yeah, we all love Andrew. And uh, yeah, if he gets- I just got a call from Psycho right now. He just called me, yeah. What did he say? I don't know. He just was bringing me as we were doing this podcast. His ears must have ringing. Yeah, get him on there. (laughs) You know what? You know, I got to learn how to use this. There's a way to patch a phone call (laughs) in this right there. Yeah, Andrew, I love his physique. I love everything about him. means he's coming here, I think. Yeah. I, he's probably going to come to Vegas. I, yeah. I assume that's why so he's reaching. Invite out. him to the show. But Andrew, if he's a little bit bigger, you know, a little bit thicker, especially legs, uh, he's. Chris Acido says he's coming to win. Yeah. You know, I always say this when Chris Acido says someone can win, I just believe him. I because because, because he, said, he said Jay would defeat Ronnie when the whole world said he couldn't, mm-hmm. and he said Sean would defeat Phil when the whole world said he couldn't. If he says it, I take him. I take his word for it. And he doesn't uh, say you, that. You lightly. would say that Chris knows thing or two. Chris is like an <laughs> expert that has been. And he's around. not going to say that unless he really yeah, yeah. believes it. Yeah, of course. Yep. So I, I'm sure that if he uh, coaches uh, Samson, he would say the same thing. I do yeah. believe that he, Samson has he, a Andrew has a win. crazy work ethic, from what he says. Who the uh, Andrew Jack? Andrew Jack. Yeah. 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 I'm I'm happy to hear that. And you tell me, Samson has Samson, a crazy yeah. work ethic, you know. Uh, Samson's whole life is now into uh, you know winning the Olympia, and you know now he has tasted back in the day, which uh, I, I, apparently I was wrong. I don't know. I'm going to check the dates anyway. Thank God I didn't bet. Thank God you checked. Oh, out. you didn't bet? I yeah. got it on video. <laughs> 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 no, no uh, we shook, uh, and uh, then uh, I was <laughs> trying to pull back because I don't want to hold your hand. Uh, was, uh, and you're like, come I here, hold my hand. Five K. Yeah, Where am I going to spend it? Know, now I won't you know, be busted. To go back in the days, dude, we talk about work ethic. Yeah. Everyone kind of like had crazy work ethic. A lot of the, like, it, it was, was given. Very, you have yeah, to be. I mean, you had to be, right? You never question your twice a day workouts. Oh, no, I mean, I, I always, like, I always tell everyone, I'm just, just determined. I mean, we talk about Branch Warren. I remember he was uh, like, yeah. I mean, we talk about Nick Walker, right? All these, it's like out in the <sighs> forefront, like how hard they work. I think Derek's working, Hottie's working, you know. Yeah. Uh, you just assume everyone's working super yeah, hard, well, right? Okay, let, let's talk about this work ethics. So, what does it mean that one hour and fifteen? Well, minutes, yeah, I think you one hour and fifteen minutes. You're talking about know, this work ethic. Get my five think, grand. I think the whole thing, the the whole balance of um, eating, training, sleeping, secluding yourself, less social yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. Don't do the things that are going to deviate from what the yeah. ultimate goal is. Yeah. And today, it's a different era with social media and. Just, you know, remember taking your phone in the gym and taking a video in between your set, that's throwing your mind off that it we didn't have, right? Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. So yeah. I'm already, I could say that the old school was definitely a lot more focused because I can guarantee there's, there's going to be 20 guys qualified at 21. All those guys are bringing a phone inside the gym. I, I did not bring a phone inside the gym. You were probably the same Never. way because cell phones didn't ooh, have cameras ooh. a lot. Like you right? know what though, I wonder. Do you think Hottie, do you think Hottie does? No. I think every no. once in a while someone films. I think he's that old school hardcore. Yeah. Leave me no, alone. Type. I, I think he would carry. I think he has a phone in his gym bag. I Maybe in his gym bag. Yeah. I mean, if you would uh, uh, video occasional uh, sets that you're going to do something crazy, okay. If you're gonna make uh, multiple videos like you did back in the day, you know I understand. Yeah, you know I could, but, uh, but I, could, I, agree. I couldn't even wear a headset because I would sweat so bad. Mm. So all like any time I tried to wear it, it would like ruin. I had your <laughs> Walkmans or whatever else. I mean, yeah, if I yeah. wore these kind of headphones, dude, they Forget would be dr- it, yeah. they would be replacing yeah. them every yeah, they, week. You know, I used to have them, and, and three weeks later they stink. So I understand it. Uh, but you, you, you know, your journals tell the story, and I mean, you were a top ten guy. Think about. You know, probably you disappointed you <laughs> because what? Uh, think about the guys that beat you. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, yeah. like we talked about Chris Cormier. What yeah. if Chris Cormier was as regimented as you were? Yeah, uh, I know. Chris, Chris and not to say that Olympia. he didn't work hard, mm-hmm. but definitely as he got further in his career, I feel like he did do extra things that held him back, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And I think he would agree. Do you think Sean Ray was super focused on what he did? I think he was. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, he showed up every day at the same time at your gym and trained. And he and trained, and when he trained, he trained. Uh, there was no intense. BS, right? And and when he diets, he diets uh, yeah. uh, correctly. Um, it's it just that uh, when you say work ethics, right? Uh, it was given for us. I had to have my eight meals. I had to have my five hundred grams of protein, regardless. I had to train twice a day, and then uh, you know, posing along and, and all that stuff. 
nowadays in the, why, this is just why, not happening. Like, would you push Regan to train twice a day? Would you put him on that schedule, or do you feel like you just I, can't put him on it because it doesn't fit his lifestyle? Your lifestyle should be your bodybuilder, right? So that's that's your lifestyle. So there's no social okay, media. Okay, but why isn't he training twice a day, man? Yeah, because it's like overtraining. Everybody says overtraining, and like uh, I'm, you know, psycho and putting them through through hell. I did it six days a week, twice a day. I did uh, with with Hide. Uh, throughout with Dennis Wolf and he was around and uh, anybody else I don't see it as overtraining you eat sleep you know okay you take a nap in between you know come back again training what training, was yours training. yours was what two on one off yeah two on uh, two two because I trained four times over two days so I would I would be literally I'd get up at six and I would be at the gym by seven thirty eight and train my first session after one meal I would go to the gym and then I would have two meals in between and take a nap and then I would go back at between two and three and then I was done for the day and I was asleep by nine o'clock at night. That was my workout schedule. I was eating six times a day. And what about your off days when you weren't training? I would just do therapy on those days, but I would just eat my six meals. I would do still do the same thing. I needed those off days because my body was destroyed. Four workouts over two days. Two days like yeah. Yeah. Even though those workouts were only 30 minutes to... 50 minutes i just dis destroyed it i was because you never volume training yeah, you 45 seconds between yeah. and i'll tell you my body was the best it ever was but you know what took me out of that groove when i started booking guest appearances that totally effed up my whole system because you can't train twice a day you come back you're tired your schedule's off it's it's like it just fell apart yeah. we started traveling and uh Oh, by the way, the Regan texting like, "Are we doing the France?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, he's well, doing legions. Uh, who's doing legions? Uh, well, it looks. Oh, uh, like Regan's doing legions. <laughs> he didn't tell you yet, or <laughs> no, no, <yeah. laughs> don't say he's yeah. gonna have a heart attack here. No, I mean, who's doing listen. legions? Oh, uh, uh, Griffin. Charles Griffin. Yes, um, yep. I thought Justin Rodriguez. Yes. Do it. Justin do Rodriguez, it. Yeah, think, he's yeah. doing it. That's his uh, open debut. When is, what, is that Max the second Chaucer's week of October? It. Max is doing it. What week is it? When is that? It's, oh, Max uh, two is weeks doing from it? now. Max, Max is, is doing, doing it. it. Okay, yeah. you going or? Uh, well, I can't say this. Uh, I'm going to tell you why I'm oh, not okay, going. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I'll go to that. The weekend after, I just got a, we just got an yeah. appearance in, uh, oh, no, wait, no. I, I, I got some uh, major, 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 major guy that is coming to, uh, Vegas. Okay, you don't on, have to tell on, us. Yeah, on Saturday, uh, whatever. Does he got five grand for you? Not five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, to train, and I said, like, of well, course whatever, I'm Well, whatever you're getting paid, you're going to minus the 5K for Matt, you know, plus the interest. <laughs> All right, Milo, she just lost waiting. five grand to me. Hey, you're yeah. you going to pay up? An oh, interest right. for the two weeks yeah, yeah, he's going to wait. You had the chance if you had some balls. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> I, I got it on video. We shook. I want my five grand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. You know uh, what, though? It wasn't fair, though, because, like I said, I looked it up beforehand, so I, I already know. I'm blown away now because uh, I know that I, I prepare uh, yeah. um, Samson for that show, and he did the uh, loss to Nathan, mm -hmm. and to my recollection, they went to Italy right after that. Do you, do you and remember? And he lost uh, to Nathan again, and then second was uh, Raleigh Winkler, so, uh, and Raleigh was not in shape. Uh, but, but think about what you just said there. Yeah. Spain, Italy. No. That's a week and a half from now. Is the first week of October. Yeah, but wait one second. Yeah. So Nathan and uh, Samson, and uh, there was not Olympia in between. That yeah. I was convinced that they went uh, to Italy, mm -hmm. and uh, Nathan won again. Mm -hmm. And then next show was Egypt, and next show was Prague. That's and then like, there that was, was Romania. about a month in between those two, though. You know, so uh, I'm just uh, mind boggled yeah. that uh, Olympia was, I guess, in between. Um, it just got moved. It got moved to that. Remember, it got. It moved. can't be. There's something wrong with it with this whole thing. What do you mean it can't be. That's reality. He just pulled it up. Yeah, he, he is biased. <laughs> <laughs> He's a biased friend. <laughs> 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 By, hey, you biased friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want my five there. grand. Yeah. So, but didn't the, the, Samson? The, the, he did like seven or eight shows that year. Yeah, but he did uh, a bunch. I'm. Quite convinced that from Arnold Classic, Jay's he went to up. the. Yeah. No, I know I'm writing down goes. the time that you made the bet. And <laughs> I, I just want to make sure, you know, because the interest, he has to start charging interest now, you know what I mean? Yep. Um, so listen, we're going to wrap it up. Wrap it up. 
And uh, how you many other, something? No, how many other podcasts are you doing? Um, <laughs> I did one this morning with the with Chris. Oh, so you uh, yeah. with who? Uh, Chris Tuttle. Oh, okay, for, nice. Okay. Yeah. And um, so I, I'm going to do one with Fuad probably. Yeah, you know? yeah. I want to do the uh, mutant. Somebody say like, why don't you go on a mutant? Uh, yeah, him and Guy, you should. Yeah, you yeah. should. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, you asked me how is Nick going to do, and then I didn't answer. Is yeah. the president of a Nick uh, Walker Haters Club? Oh, uh, we put no, the camera on you. No, right, hater. I, I think that uh, Nick can be a major wrestler. factor because he is so much bigger right now and freakier, and he's going to come in crazy conditions. So, hey, listen, if they look for the freaks, I mean, he can throw himself in, and mm -hmm. as he believes, he can win the Olympia. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it wouldn't be a shocker. Looking at his updates, Huge you know, it's still, tech it's and still a muscle ripped. contest. It's still a muscle contest, yeah. yeah. yeah so. Now it'll be, it'll be uh, I, I love, I like going to shows at times that, look, obviously Regan's my guy, mm -hmm. and I, I don't see him being in that top five yeah. this year. He's not going to be. He said top ten is realistic. It's, it is yeah. realistic, and, but I like it when I see the top five there where I, I can just watch it as a fan. Where you can just say, "Hey, man, I just want the best guy to win." Last year, I believe the best guy won, won, mm -hmm. and this year we'll see if he can hold on to it. I like I said, I I do think people tend to overlook Hottie and how good he is, and they're automatically, "Well, this guy's gonna win." And it's like, look, you got to beat the reigning champion, and he's gonna. I think he's going to be better this year. Yeah. So if he has that razor conditioning, yeah. how much further is Derek ahead of him? If you remember, Hadi, uh, I've seen him uh, on his pro debut when he lost to Raleigh Winkler. He should have won. Mm -hmm. He won all the 212 shows, no question. Then yep. he went to open uh, Vancouver. And since then, he's only at Olympia. Uh, he did play second, I guess, San Marino. Cedric in San Marino. San Marino. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Brandon got third. And he could have beat Cedric. Yep. You know, it would be no, you know. He lost, actually, 212 show against Flex Lewis. Flex Lewis in, Korea, in, in yeah. Korea. And now that I remember. You know, just by points and, and judges, he, he probably deserved to win. So, um, for me, Hud is the three times Olympia champion, you know, yeah. if I was a judge. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, though. All right. We're getting, uh, we're getting the appearances lined up. We're going to book you out. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, he didn't tell you? Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just want to see you. Uh, well, welcome back. Um, we can't wait to have you back on again. We'll, uh, we'll be getting up and... Uh, you know, we want to appreciate everyone for their patience for uh, for waiting for this. I know they've been asking for it. When are we loading this, actually? I'll, I'll see how fast I can. Okay, do it. I'll, I might launch it today or tomorrow. I already got oh. I already got the graphic done for it. Yes, good. Bias coach. We're gonna put that on a shirt. <laughs> why not, appreciate why you guys hey, so much. You should have a bias coach. Got them. You know uh, what? You know what? Uh, this is what we're doing. We need a Cutler Cast bias shirt. <laughs> bias coach <laughs> shirt. Yeah, it's gonna be a sellout, it's and it's gonna have your teeth smiling like yeah, 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 just, so. yeah. Too bad, so, and too bad, so sad. Bias and coach. you know what else is gonna say? Uh, Where's my five grand? All right, we're <laughs> yeah, ask, ask a blessing. 